With the recent outbreak of the swine flu, or the influenza A, H1N1, a lot of questions have risen on the matter, beginning with the meaning of a pandemic. As far as a pandemic, it just means that it has infected throughout different, all the different continents, but it doesn't mean the severity of it. The World Health Organization classified this outbreak on level five. It is because they expect only the worst? Not necessarily. I think classifying at the level that it is right now is more so that we can contain it and we can start getting all the different governments and countries ready so that uh, the illness doesn't propagate any more than it should. Even though it now seems like the virus is not as harmful as it was first feared, it's still necessary to remain cautious in case the virus returns in the fall. We know that the way that you transmit the virus is via any kind of secretions that, are, that you either cough or from sneezing and then you when you touch your nose or your eyes, your face, if you do, do end up doing any of those things, wash your hands right away. So, um, of course, if you get sicker, meaning if you develop high fevers over two or three days, you, you become dehydrated, those are reasons to come to the hospital. But with the fear or the virus is still very Latin, people are eager to get a vaccine ready for it. And there is one on the way, but it won't be ready just yet. It usually takes about three to four months to develop the influenza vaccine for our seasonal vaccination times every year. Now for this new virus, I, it would probably end up taking more or less the same amount of time. But once again, the power to contain the virus doesn't rely on a vaccine, but rather in prevention and awareness. I think we're in a, in a, in a good state of that mind that people have become aware People have a lot more information and people know some of the simple things to do um, that are common sense so we don't become infected or we don't propagate it and make this into a larger thing that, we can, that it can be. Well, let's start this interesting conversation. Dr. Delgado, maybe you can take a shot at this first. How serious is the threat? I think this, we now know that the threat is not as serious as we initially thought, but what this was a great opportunity to see was what are we prepared to handle in the United States and globally if something is a greater threat. So I think what we learned was that very quickly CDC did get information, they got it out to the people. I think there's an issue of language and how people in the Spanish language media we're not getting information as quickly, but I think we are now at a better place. But in, it's only a month, and we've done very well. 